Om Namaste, my beautiful earth flowers. So, hope you guys are having a blessed and beautiful day. So, today we're talking about the difference between discovering one's truth versus one's untruth, like I normally write about it. So, truth for me means the only consistent truth, which is the I consciousness and everything that comes or derives out of this consciousness. And untruth for me, in my perspective, when I write, when I say untruth, I mean um, all that derives from the ego mind that creates an identity, a persona, it has habits and conditions. And for me, in my perspective of writing about the awakening of consciousness, untruth means all of these which is not not you so in my own inner awakening since my own inner discovery of who i am through my own teachings of mojichi it was enlightening to know that all the negative thoughts of which i had prior to my awakening were not me as it shows and as you discover through your own inner awakening that the persona and the identity, the form, is only a projection of the consciousness itself. So for this, the most beautiful practice is self-inquiry, meaning self-discovery. So as you are practicing self-inquiry, inquiry, you are starting to distinguish what is coming from the ego mind and what is coming from the pure heart so the consciousness so as you do this you start to discover that the habits that you had the conditions that you have or the form has because it's not really you the I consciousness it's not you it is a part of you so this great gives one great liberation in discovering as it gives it gave me because in knowing this you start to see life in the observant way then as the identity or identified in the experiences of life so you start to notice and be aware of the experiences that are happening as within as without but in the more of the awareness eye, the eye of awareness. So this is the eye of, you can say also consciousness. So as you start to notice your untruths, you start to only remain with your truth. And the only truth will remain with it, which is the truth of consciousness. So as you are transcending all of which you are not, you are remaining as what you are and the only thing that will remain is the purity of consciousness as the awareness and as you do this practice which is called self-inquiry more the more you practice self-inquiry the more you start to let's say expand into consciousness so your perspective will start to be seen from a much higher space as you are less identified with life until you become not identified at all which makes you just the flow of consciousness which is a free spirit free of all ignorance arrogance and all negative habits or all habits that has to do with the ego and all conditions as well so you become a free being so that is how you start to live as a just spirit and not as an identity attached by mind conditions and by doing this the practice of self-inquiry one might ask so how do you do this one starts to first ignore all that is deriving from the ego mind at first it might seem like it is a challenge because we are so accustomed to react and act immediately by our mind so it becomes a habit as a condition so when you you want to start deprogramming your mind from all these habits conditions that are set by our environment by a society by our upbringing all of which is no longer serving your path all of which is creating suffering because an identified persona creates a suffered 
form because your mind creates suffering. So now we can speak about the difference between suffering and pain. So pain comes from the body. So the body feels pain. Like you have pain in your back. You have head ache. You know, it's a pain coming, deriving from the body. Yet, a suffering is a state of mind. Suffering is how you are seeing life. So the way you see life is the way life will react back to you. So if you feel like, oh my God, I hate this life, you will feel the sensations of hate, which will cause a suffered form, a suffering form. You will start being suffering. If you feel like I cannot do this, I cannot make it, it will never work. Why me? Why always me? All of these thoughts that derive from the ego mind creates the sensation of suffering. So let's say everybody has a different perspective in life. Like my high is somebody else's low. My, let's say my, how I see something good for somebody else's bad. My hero is another person's villain. So everybody is seeing life in a different perspective. So nobody can say I have the, the truth of that. So in this world, whenever seeing life through the eyes of the ego mind, through the persona, you are witnessing life in your own perspective. So as you start deprogramming from this conditioned mind, which creates your own pain and suffering because the way you think about life will become you and the way you see life will become you. You are no longer able to function as a free spirit. You are functioning now as an identity, as an identity with conditions, with habits. So in order to start detaching from all of these life conditions and life habits that are deriving from mind, you want to start deprogramming that mind. And by doing this, the most beautiful practice is called self-inquiry. So the first moment, the first times of practicing self-inquiry, it is a challenge. But after doing this practice for a long time, you start to expansion, expand in consciousness. You start to become the eyes observing rather than the one being identified at all times.